As we continue to deal with red flag warnings and high fire danger, the Colorado Springs Fire Department is helping to get neighbors prepared for the worst. Tonight, the department hosted a town hall to help prepare for a dry summer ahead. Cardio News Channel 13 Cindy Santafonte joins us from the Meadow Park Community Center near the Broadmoor neighborhood to share how you can be better prepared. Cindy. Other Bart Colorado Springs Fire Department crews tell me that we could potentially be in for a very long and very dangerous summer ahead of us. But the good news is, is there is preventative action that people can start implementing right away to hopefully try to mitigate that and ultimately keep their neighborhoods safe. Jay Temple knows all too well how close to home wildfires can get. He was one of the first to spot a plume of smoke just yards away from his house on Electra Drive during the 2020 Bear Creek Fire. Do we feel comfortable with it? Well, we do the best we can. Neighbors are once again on high alert as Colorado Springs firefighters prepare for a busy heart of fire season. They are placing emphasis on higher, more open terrain, referred to as wildland urban interface areas that is often full of houses. It's the lack of, of moisture in the air and, and on the ground and the lack of snow that we got in our very, very dry, dry spring. Firefighters are using town halls to help show people in Colorado Springs how they can keep their homes safe. Harming your home, what that means is helping your home be more fire safe. Their biggest tip, keep your grass, bushes, and trees all properly maintained. Everyone here in the neighborhood, I mean, if you look up and down, you'll find that there are very few low-lying branches. Everybody keeps their yards clean. And remember to respect current fire restrictions in city limits. Right now, Colorado Springs is at level two restrictions, meaning no recreational fires or outdoor smoking is allowed in any city-owned parks and open spaces. We're really encouraging everybody to sign up for Peak Alerts. Notification is key. So when you go to peakalerts.org, you're able to sign up to get your notification. Now that alert system, if you sign up, will be able to send you the latest updates for any evacuations or warnings right to your smartphone. So it's really important that people take advantage of that. Another factor, and as we reported last week, it's also important to make sure that when a wildfire does arise, you have a go bag and your evacuation plans already good to go to make sure again that you keep yourself and your family safe. For now, I'm reporting live in Colorado Springs, Cindy Santafonte for K. RDO News Channel 13.